All right, in this video, we're going to put uh, the last two concepts together. We've got a trumpet. We know what frequency it plays, and we've got a temperature. We can work backwards using the fact that it's a closed air column to get all the way back to the length of that trumpet. You have to imagine this a little bit because this isn't going to be how big a real trumpet is. It would be how big a real trumpet would be if you could rip it apart and make it all straight. Okay? Then we're going to take that length and work uh, the normal way forwards again and come up with the frequency for the n equals 2 or the first overtone and the n equals 3 or the second overtone. So let's start. First of all, we need that speed of sound. The temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. So V equals 332 meters per second plus 0.6 T or 332 meters per second plus 0 0.6 times the 20, which works out to 344 meters per second. With that in hand, I can use the universal wave equation to figure out what wavelength would have been required for my 250 hertz 256 hertz sound. Three forty four equals two fifty six lambda, dividing both guys by two fifty six. Uh, 1.34, the wavelength of 1.34 meters. Now with that in hand, I have to look at the patterns. A trumpet is a closed air column, which means it's open on one side and closed on the other, or it has one fixed and one free end reflection. The fixed end reflection has to be a node, and the free end reflection has to be an antinode. So the simplest pattern possible goes from a node to an antinode, and the length is equal to a quarter of, a, of the wavelength. See, that's just one quarter of the whole wave. The equation that we could have used here is that L is equal to 2n minus 1 over 4 lambda, and then recognizing that we're looking for the simplest pattern with n equals 1, and then the equation is 2 minus 1, which is just 1 over 4, or lambda over 4. So I have my lambda it was 1.34. So I got 0 0.336 meters as the length of my instrument. So the question says determine the frequency of the first and second overtones. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that length. I'm going to use n equals 2 and n equals 3 to come up with the, wa the new wavelengths. And then with the new wavelengths, I'll use the universal wave equation to come up with the new frequencies. So first of all, the n equals 2 example. Here again, starting at a node, going through one antinode to the next antinode, I can see that I work out, work out to a length of 3 quarters of a wavelength. I have 3 quarters of the wave there. Using the formula, L equals 2n minus 1 over 4 lambda. If n is 2, I get 3 quarters lambda. So, I mean, you can just use the formula. I'm just going through the patterns again so that you can see them. I have my length of my trumpet, so when I change modes, the actual trumpet isn't going to change sizes. It's, it's a physical thing, so it's stuck at that size. So if I'm going to go to n equals 2 and the length of this thing is fixed, it's the wavelength that has to change. So 
times 4 divided by 3. My wavelength works out to 0 0.448. With that in hand, I can use my universal wave equation, V equals F lambda. Again, the speed of sound was set by the temperature outside. The temperature isn't changing, so that's going to be the same. So 344 meters per second is equal to the frequency times 0 0.448 meters. And so what does my frequency work out to be? seven hundred and sixty eight hertz so the first frequency it's going to play is 256 hertz but it's not the only frequency it can play it can play other frequencies and if you've played the trumpet what you understand is that by controlling the vibration that you put into the trumpet you control which of the frequencies gets produced so 256 hertz would be the simplest one, but you could make it vibrate such that the sound wave takes on this funny shape instead. And if you did that, it would vibrate at 760 hertz. To do that, what you'd have to be able to do is put a vibration into the trumpet that's at 700 or close to 768 hertz without putting a vibration into the trumpet at 256. This is why playing the instrument requires developing some skill. It's not the only option. We could do the n equals 3 option. This is just going to be basically a repeat of what I just did, but just with different patterns. Starting at a node, I can go to an antinode, then down to the next antinode, that's the n equals 2, and up to one more in an antinode, that's 1 and a quarter wavelengths, or L equals 5 over 4 lambda. Again, just making sure that we correspond with the equation. Two times three minus one over four. Five lambda over four. So there you go, it's the same thing with the easy equation or you think about the diagram. And putting in my length of my trumpet again, which is fixed, 0 0.336. times 4 divided by 5 0 0.2688 and then using the universal wave equation I got uh, 1,200, yeah, 1,280. So again, if you had the skill to control the input uh, frequency that you put into the trumpet, you could make it resonate or you could produce a standing wave at 1,280 hertz. Now, if you've ever played a trumpet, what you understand is the lower, the easier it is to do, the higher the trickier it becomes to be able to put in the frequency you want and not other frequencies and end up having it make other sounds that are unpleasant. So that's that.